Hello everyone and welcome back to Aqua Place Pixelmon. Alright, so lots to do in this episode. Uh, <laughs> in the last episode we got embarrassed by a blue boss Magnemite, so... Not my finest hour, but I'm looking to find another boss in this episode and redeem myself. Preferably a red or yellow boss. But any boss will do. Definitely want to get back on track though. All of my Pokemon got healed up in between this episode and the last. So yeah, we're good to go. And I brought a bed with me this time, so... Yeah, if we do happen to lose all of our Pokemon again, we can just sleep it off and heal them up. But we will also set our spawn point out here, so I need to be extra careful and not die. <laughs> that would be pretty tragic. But alright, I need to keep leveling up Eevee and Arcanine. So, yeah, Eevee is at 132 happiness, and Arcanine here is at level 30, so he needs to get up to level 45. And what better place to train him than a snowy plains biome? This should be perfect for him. He can take all, out all of these weak little ice and steel Pokemon. <laughs> Shouldn't be too difficult. Just need to find someone worthy to fight. And I also want to see if I can find anything cool to catch out here. And yeah, all kinds of stuff to do. So here's a pile of swine. Level 37. Go. Let's go with Eevee here. This is a little strong for uh, RK9 here. So yeah, flame burst this pile of swine. One hit KO, good job. Next. Hmm. I'm on the constant hunt for bosses as well. Level 12 swine up, level 13 swine up. Uh, these Magnemites might work. The only thing annoying about them is that they confuse you. Hmm. I could use more pile of swines. What else even spawns out here? It seems like it's kind of limited. Or things just aren't spawning. <laughs> Can't tell which it is. It seems like a lot of Magnemites and Pine or pff, Pine Ups. <laughs> pile of Swines and Swine Ups. Yeah, here's a pile of Swine. Go RK9. You're not quite strong enough to handle this, but we can switch out into Aqua Fire. And Flame Burst. Keeps using Peck. How do these things know how to use Peck? <laughs> Makes no sense to me. These Icy Rocks everywhere. If I wanted a Glaceon, it would be pretty easy right now. But this Eevee is destined to be an Umbreon. Magnemite. Hmm. Pidgeys and Pidgeotos. I want to see if I can hit this pile of swine from over here. Oh, <laughs> I hit a Pidgey. Alright, well goodbye Pidgey, you stay out of my way. I want this pile of swine. Oh, it moved at the last second. Really? He's gonna make this difficult. Little farther. There we go, cool. Got it. <laughs> go Aquafire. It uses Mist. That's not really a problem. Flame Burst. Mud Sport, also not a problem. Alright, Arcanine's level 31, Aquafire's level 47. Finally, we learn Flamethrower. Yeah. Get rid of Flame Burst. Flamethrower is much better. Alright, only took to level 47 to learn Flamethrower. That'll work, though. Hmm. Swine Ubs. Not too interested. Run out on this ice. See what's back here. Hmm. That looks like a very small swine up. I don't know. I'm not too interested in catching one though. Swine ups and pile of swines. I think they're decent Pokemon, but they're kind of boring. Magnemite. Magnemite. Come on, boss Pokemon. Magnemite. Magnemite. 
We got ripped off by that one in the last episode. I need to redeem myself. Any boss Pokemon who wants to fight. Here's a lava pool. Hmm. <laughs> that looks different with this texture pack. All right, pile of swine. Let's do this. Go aquafire. And flamethrower this time. That's a one-hit KO. Awesome. Retaliate. The user gets revenge for a fainted ally. If the ally fainted the previous turn, this attack's damage increases. Uh, that's kind of interesting. Not really good, but <laughs> interesting. All my other moves are better already. Let's head over this hill. Mm. I'm just going to sprint around this biome as fast as I can and see if I can find any boss Pokemon. These Magnemites are so small. All of them. Like our Pygmy Magnemite. Or I guess it's a Magneton now, but... Ours is like the smallest you can find, but they... Every size of them is pretty small. Come back here, Pile of Swan. Go Aquafire. Pretty soon, RK9 should be able to take these out on its own. But we'll have to rely on Aquafire for a little longer. Wow, it just barely lived there. Finish it with a wing attack. Cool. I'm gonna probably not train Eevee too much in this episode. I want to see if I can get RK9 caught up a bit. Two more pile of swines over here. I'd like to find a boss pile of swine. That'd be pretty awesome. I moved at the last second. Okay. Aquafire. And RK9 is pretty... He's pretty cool. I haven't used him too much in the last couple episodes, but... Yeah, got both them leveled up. So, yeah. RK9 is a pygmy, so as soon as it evolves, that'll be pretty awesome. Otis Sleuth. Should have attacked there. Bad mistake. <laughs> you just let Aquafire live even longer. Aquafire's gonna faint pretty soon here, so hopefully we can get RK9 leveled up to a point where he can fight for himself. Magnemite. Magnemite. Mm. Pidgey. Yeah, it's pretty much all pile of swines out here. That's all that is really worth killing. Everything else doesn't really give much experience. Alright, let's do this. Please don't attack Aquafire. Ah, uh, use Dice Fang. Alright. Uh, so now, I'll try out God Mew, but uh, I don't think it has really any attacks that'll be good here. Acrobatics, that did a lot more than I was expecting. This one has takedown, that's a good move. RK9's level 34, there you go. So we can get rid of, uh, I kind of, uh, we'll get rid of... Uh, Fire Fang here. It's better at physical attacks, so I kind of want to leave Fire Fang, but as soon as we learn Flare Blitz, it really won't matter anyway, so that's fine. Hmm. Magnemite. More Swine Ups and Magnemites. Come on, boss Pokemon. Swine like to find a yellow boss or a red boss if possible. Get some good loot. I'd like to give, like, uh, Aquafire choice specs or something if we can find some. Or give RK9 choice band. But we've got to find a good boss first. The blue bosses drop the worst loot, and that is what we are finding everywhere. I'll still take any loot, and also the experience that comes with beating a boss Pokemon. But, it'd be awesome to find a better boss. This is a big biome. Go figure, with large biomes on, I found a big biome. Hmm. Pokemon are getting kind of sparse. What is this? This is an interesting little cave. Ooh. 
I could have fallen in there. I was not paying any attention. <laughs> All right, well, good thing we avoided that. Pidgeys, Magnemites, you're too weak. Ooh, here's like three or four pilot lines. Good stuff. All right, so I wonder if... Which one of you is the lowest level? 41, that's a little high. Oh well, let's just uh, go for it and let God Mew kill this. God Mew's level 55. He's actually starting to level up a bit as well. They're using takedown now, these higher level ones. Alright, good you <laughs> I almost said good jube. Good job, God Mew. Uh... Yeah, let's kill this pile of swine now. Level are you? This one's only 36. I want to see if RK9 can take this. Uh, it appears not. <laughs> let's go into God Mew then. And Acrobatics might take it out. And it does. Level 35 for RK9. As soon as we evolve him, he's going to be a monster. But Growlithe on its own isn't too strong. Acrobatics. Wow, one hit KO with Acrobatics, really? Good job, God Mew. <laughs> and I'm going to keep heading over here. I just want to run around and get as many Pokemon spawned as possible, because eventually we will find a boss. Looks like these swine ups are fighting up here. Hmm. Pidgeotos. Hmm. Not seeing any bosses. It was cool that the first boss we ever found in this series, though, was a yellow boss. I'd like to find another one. It's been a long time. I think that was episode, like, 43-ish. That looks like an enormous Pidgeotto, maybe. I think I'm gonna try to catch this. Why not? Oh, <laughs> it's, like, glitched into this rock. And that's gonna make my Pokeballs break on it. Uh... Oh, got it, cool. Now I just have to see if that's going to catch it. It was level 22, I think? That's not too high. Pidgeotos are one of the easier things to catch. Awesome, got it. So yeah, when we get back, we can see what level or what size that is. If it's enormous, it might be cool to evolve that into an enormous Pidgeot. That would definitely be worth it. Hmm. That's the biggest Pidgeotto I've ever seen, so I wouldn't be surprised if it is enormous. Is this turning into a Taiga? Guess not. I guess those are just a couple random trees. Alright. Level 41 pile of swine. Uh, I'll just keep using God Mew, I guess, until he faints. Or runs out of acrobatics, <laughs> which is coming up. He has eight left. I'll finish this off with an ancient power. Don't want to waste an acrobatics when we don't have to. Level 36 for RK9. And this looks like an enormous pile of swine. Oh well, though. Not going to bother to catch it. You can't really do much with a pile of swine. They're not that good, and you can't evolve them or anything, so... Kind of pointless. Ancient power. Got it. Cool. Growlithe is growing in levels pretty quickly now as well. It's level 36, so nine more levels and we can evolve that thing. This looks like a pygmy pile of swine, maybe. They always run out of the way at the very last second. Oh, uh, God, Mew still. Acrobatics. And one more should do it. Cool. Alright. I wonder if Magneton spawn naturally. I don't think I've ever seen one, so... Yeah, they might not. I'd like to find one for experience. But I'm not counting on it. I just saw a pile of swine up here. Did it despawn? I guess it did. 
despawned right in front of me. <laughs> Let's go this way. Wow, we're running out of hunger really fast. Oh yeah, these potatoes. There's like a hidden stat in Minecraft where like the food you eat determines how fast your hunger bar is going to run out and baked potatoes have a very low stat for that. So your hunger bar runs out really quick when you eat baked potatoes. Ooh, look at that swine up. I actually want to catch this. Yeah, let's do it. Um, I don't really have anything that won't kill it. You know what, I'm just gonna run away, <laughs> and then I'll try to catch it with Pokeballs so it doesn't attack me and put any damage on. RK9 there. Is this the same one? Ooh, Mr. Mime. Alright, here's a new forest biome. I think this is a, this might be the swine up. Yeah, this looks like the same size. Let's throw some ultra balls at this. Ah, it's too small. I can't hit it. <laughs> there we go. Just broke another ultra ball. Ah, got out. I caught a level 22 Pidgeotto, so a level 14 swine up shouldn't be too much harder. Where did it even go? Oh, there it is. You're making this too difficult, swine up. Come on. Wow, I hit it with that? <laughs> kind of surprised. Come on. Let's catch this swine up. Wow, this thing is being difficult. I'm going to catch this thing before the episode ends. I promise. <laughs> I'm going to try some nest balls out. This thing is being difficult. Very difficult. Wow, that looks like an enormous swine up. Look at the size difference. Ah, it's so hard to hit pygmy Pokemon with Pokeballs. See if the nest ball can do this. There's a couple Kadabras. Yeah, I want to check out this forest after we catch this swine up. Awesome, got it. Okay, cool, so. Yeah, caught a pygmy swine up out here. Caught a... Well, probably a pygmy swine up. Caught a probably pygmy or probably enormous Pidgeotto. <laughs> that looks like a pretty small Ghastly. Yeah, I just want to catch a Ghastly. I'll catch both of these and see what size they both are. And the coolest size might get added to the team at some point. Ugh, this thing's being all evasive. Alright, well. I'm catching a bunch of random Pokemon here at the end of this episode. <laughs> I think I got both those. They're not really breaking out. Good old nest balls. Alright, awesome. So... <laughs> yeah, this looks like... This might be a cool place to look around. It's like a forest intersecting with a snow biome. So... Yeah, that'll give us a chance to find some cool stuff, and we can continue leveling up RK9 and Eevee. So yeah, that's what we're going to do in the next episode. And then at some point, we will go back and look at what sizes all the Pokemon we just caught were. So yeah, all kinds of stuff to do next time. So I will see you then. Thanks for watching.